Hey guys, Greg Biscuit here. I uploaded this to my new YouTube channel on Greg's Rants. This is for specifically like rants and maybe like advice stuff and maybe skits as well. So yeah, and then my other my other channel is just going to be strictly for vlogs, what I do with my life. So um, if you like this channel, make sure you subscribe to it as well. It's gonna I'll be uploading this probably four or five times a week. Hopefully, hopefully when I go to school, I still keep it updated and. Uh, so yeah, here's my new channel, Greg's Rants. And if you know me in person, there um, you know that I am a very social guy, and it kind of it looks like it comes easy to me. And uh, and so today I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna teach you what you can do to also become as socialized and and a people person as well, just like yours truly. Here is step number one. But this is a very huge deal. When you talk to someone, you don't want to try to impress them. Don't try to impress someone. First is first, you want to be yourself. That is the most important aspect possible because uh, I have I have uh, uh, girls that when I talk to them at first, you know, at school, they try to they say something to try to impress me, and it's just like no, uh, just unless you can dunk a basketball, unless you say you can dunk a basketball, then that'll probably impress me. But then I'm just gonna think you're a man, so. Chances are, you're probably not going to impress me. So just come off and just be yourself. Let things flow. And okay, here's another thing. In awkward moments, now we're all guilty of doing this. Here's number two. Do not, do not pull out your phone. Don't ever pull out your phone. You're going to have to deal with these awkward moments. Because I've, I've had my fair share of awkward moments and I've just sat through them all. And you get used to them. And you know, it doesn't even feel awkward anymore. You know, you just get used to it. And you know... I'm thankful that I got used to awkward moments, but never pull out your phone. It makes you it makes you look like that you don't know what to do. You're um, it's kind of what you do to shield your shield yourself away from people. You know, it kind of makes things awkward when you pull out your phone. Uh, and there's and there's two of you, so I advise you, please do not pull out your phone. Another thing, who it's really big with socializing with people, do not ever if some this is an awkward moment, don't ever say this is awkward because maybe the other person might not be feeling that it's awkward but you might feel it's awkward and now it's really awkward and now that you pulled it out now that you like said it it's it's very much awkward now isn't it and and now you don't even know how to recover from that and then now you guys are both standing there because you really just call out an awkward moment and you don't really know how to recover from it just just avoid calling out awkward moments do not bring out your cell phone that's like the worst thing you can ever do Body language is a huge, it's like a very huge key aspect with talking to someone, you know. 55% of communication is body language, and then 38% of communication is tone, and only 7% is what you're saying. So make sure you know that when you're when you're talking, you know, you're, you're kind of lively, but don't use too much body motion and hand movements. It's, it's a little weird. Don't, don't talk to them and, and take the arms folded across the chest. That's really not really... Um, welcoming either you want to take them with like you know the hands uh, hands out approach you know like open palms you know open body make sure you can see your body and have a nice posture when you talk to them you can smile make sure you have a nice tone make sure you're not monotone and don't be thinking and when you're talking just let the conversation flow don't think oh I'm not gonna I can't mess this up I can't mess this up because it's all about being you the, the third most important thing you should know when when uh, trying to socialize with people right so if you're new to this, this is perhaps one of the biggest ones. Even okay, all three of them are big, but this one is pretty, pretty huge. Step outside of your comfort zone. We're all comfortable, and we're all. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And you're nervous to talk to people. Why are you nervous to talk to people? There should be no reason why you're nervous. We should be nervous to talk to someone. I mean, what's what's the worst that's gonna happen? I mean, they're not gonna punch you in the face, right? Unless, I don't know, unless you say something to sick provoke them, then they might punch you in the face. If you see someone you want to talk to, talk to them. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I mean, you, you always read about people who uh, meet their soulmate through some weird way. Like, some people meet them through Disneyland or some people meet, like, at Starbucks. People go out and socialize. I mean, socialize with one another. It doesn't hurt. It honestly does not hurt to talk and meet new people. And... I, I love meeting new people. You have off great vibes, and you're probably thinking, Greg, well, that's just how you are. Like, you're good at it. 
Well, I wasn't always good at it. And I practice and I, I uh, talk to different people. I met new people. And, you know, at first it was kind of hard. It was hard to step out of my comfort zone. It was hard for me not to pull out my phone. It was hard for me not to call out awkward moments. And now things just flow. When I meet someone new, it's just everything's just great. I mean, it takes practice to get good at something. If you see someone that you, someone else you know who's really good at socializing with people, and you're like, oh, that's not me. It's because it's because you never tried. You can be that person. You can do what you want. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. You just gotta try. And and you, who knows? Maybe maybe you might meet your soulmate one day. I mean, go out and talk to people, man. Just go out. So, yeah, that concludes my advice. I hope this really helped. It was a, uh, it was pretty. It's pretty hard. It's gonna be pretty hard for you to get used to that, you know, um, to talk to people first, you know, because it's like stepping out of your comfort zone. None of us like stepping out of a comfort zone, but it has to be done. So make sure you you stay genuine. You give great positive body language. You give great tone, and you just just don't think about it. Just let just let the conversation flow. So I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I hope you guys go out and go so socialize with new people that you've wanted to socialize with before. If you see a cute girl, go out and talk to her. Just just be yourself. Don't try to impress. Don't try to make things awkward. Don't just let it flow. So so yeah, subscribe if you like my video.